One of the most interesting, one of the most interesting, I can't say it. One of the most interesting and fascinating things I have noticed that V6 Mustang owners love to talk about is how to get more horsepower out of their Mustang. I'm gonna be the very first one to say this and I can almost guarantee that plenty of you guys out there are gonna agree with me on this, is that from factory this car is slow as shit. But you can also make it really fast. No, actually you cannot really make it really fast. Now, if you want to drop a bag and go batshit crazy on me, then you can go ahead and do pro chargers and superchargers and nitrous and all the other things that makes cars fast and all the above. I will say though that compared to stock with the simple little bolt-ons that I have done to this car, that it has made a drastic difference on the overall feeling of this car day in and day out. And in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what I have done to the underside of the hood of this car. And it's gonna be a lot of different things that you guys would probably think are very basic, which it really is, but it just made this car a lot more fun than it did when I got it from factory or just from a private dealer. Considering this is my third time having to record this clip and because for whatever reason, every single time I decide to record the engine over on this car, the audio cuts out completely. I have absolutely no clue why. But the very first thing that we're going to talk about inside this engine bay that sticks out like a sore thumb, and that is the HPS cold air intake. I end up buying this thing off auto anything, and this thing sounds absolutely mean. Around 2,000, 3,000 RPMs, this thing whistles like a farmer looking for its dog. And what was awesome about this HPS tube is it also came with a big dick Canon filter. And when I first saw this, I thought it was absolutely huge. And trust me, it still is. But at the same time too, I've seen bigger ones in the past and this video is going a complete opposite direction. So I'm gonna get away from that. But other than that though, I love this thing. This thing just gives the engine bay a whole different appearance on here, especially the ones from factory. And if you guys haven't watched a previous video that I've done a few months ago, we talked about the induction noise over on this car that this cold air intake creates and I highly recommend watching that if you want to learn how to make more noise out of your engine bay let alone over on your v6 Mustang and what works hand in hand with this filter and cold air intake is a throttle body spacer right here and a lot of people are big critics about this thing and I don't blame them because it really doesn't do much but the one thing that it does do over on the butt dyno that like trust me again it's just one of those things where you feel like it makes a difference but you just can't tell if it really does is the fact that this thing literally screams a lot louder than when it was just the cold air intake. I love this thing personally because in my opinion, I feel like it gave me a little bit more lower end torque. Not much, but it definitely felt like it made some sort of difference. And on top of that too, the whistling around 2,000, 3,000 RPMs is just as loud, if not louder, than when it was just the cold air intake. So I believe that the throttle body spacer, the cold air intake, and the cis air filter all go hand in hand with each other very, very well. Another thing that makes a great amount of noise is well is the shorty headers I end up buying off eBay and that's also another video I end up creating over the last channel that I'll also link up above as well but let me just say though these shorty headers are a great bang for your buck and I end up paying around I want to say hundred and thirty seven dollars ish around that price range and let me just say though I feel like it did give this car just a tad bit more lower end torque but aside from that though I also felt like too that I end up making this car sound a lot better than the stock manifolds did <laughs> I personally feel with these shorty headers that it gave the car a little bit more crackle, a little bit more of a deeper end tone. I will say though, if you did have long tube headers, you would have a lot deeper of a tone and it probably sound a lot more smoother. But for it just being shorty headers though, on the other hand, I feel like just for it being a daily driver, this was a great thing to add to the car. But if you're looking for performance gains, I would recommend getting long tube headers if you don't have to worry about missions in your state. And what's nice about having the shorty headers is the fact that you're still able to retain your catalytic converters, which is I think is a big must when it comes to having a daily driver or if you just want to have a decent sounding Mustang just because in my opinion having the catalytic converters definitely eliminate some of that rasp that you get out of this V6 platform. And the very last few Twinkie horsepower mods that I have done over on this car that I really don't feel like did too much but at the same time too my butt dyno tells me otherwise and right after the shorty headers we went ahead and ended up adding an H-pipe over on this car aka a custom H-pipe over on this car for anybody who wants to try to correct me and let me just say though that this custom H-pipe is probably one of my favorite exhausts or at least performance mods I have 
ever done to this car. Actually, I said that about the throttle body spacer, so I guess I'm lying about one of the two things. Let me just say though, that XY shit that comes from factory isn't the best. It makes a car very raspy and it sounds very tinny. And that's not really what my taste is like. And I guarantee a lot of you guys are probably in the same boat as well. You wanna go ahead and get that deep, nasty grumble that you would not really expect out of a V6 Mustang. But let me just tell you right now that that H-pipe really did make a big difference over on the exhaust tone over on this car. If you wanna watch more about that H-pipe, I do have a video that I'm gonna pop up above, of above, of above, of above, of above, up above as well that talks all about the H-pipe. And I also have plenty of other videos if you want to check out that are exhaust related at the very end of this one but long story short though it works out great it's fabulous i love it and i guarantee a lot of you guys would as well i just highly recommend not trying to find one online because if you do it's probably gonna be really expensive considering they really don't make them and moving to the very back of the car and i mean the very very back we end up adding a mod to the car that you probably wouldn't even notice is on here unless you knew what you were listening to and what we end up adding to the car are some exhaust cutouts to the very back end of the exhaust and you might also be thinking too Why'd you add them to the back and not even to the middle or even close to the front? The reason why is because of one, this car is low as shit and is literally like a shovel. So anything that's too low is literally gonna just scrape it right up. And the other reason why too is because the last thing I wanna do is rip that thing off. And I really don't want it too, too loud and I don't want to worry about it all the time. So that's the reason why we moved them to the back and they're all electronic so I can click them at the remote of my button. There are times when you want the car loud and there's also times when you want it a little bit more quiet. So it's nice to be able to have that option if you wanna turn the exhaust on or off, kind of like an exotic a little bit. If you wanna go into sport mode, if you wanna go ahead and just go into comfort mode. So that's kind of cool that this car is able to retain that or at least we're able to add it without any issues at all. And what's really cool about this is that the fact that I'm able to to adjust this over on my garage door buttons up top, which I'll give you guys a demonstration right now. You can hear the car is on. That's where the exhaust cutout's on. I click the button up top. Then I'm gonna move back over here. And it's a lot quieter. But wait. There's more. And the next thing that I also added to this car as well, and I actually have to go onto the interior of the car that I told you guys we would not be talking about, but in this scenario, we kind of have to at the same time. And if you have been watching the videos, you will notice one special thing that I absolutely love on this car, and that right here is the Pedal Commander. The Pedal Commander is a great mod to add over in a car, especially if you're not liking the sluggish feel of your V6 Mustang, or even if you have a four cylinder, or even a five cylinder. Now, I feel like this thing can get extremely aggressive at times. I also have a video for this I'm gonna link right up up above as well that talked all about the pedal commander but just in like the sum everything all up this thing is a great piece to have i absolutely love using it and obviously i use it every single day because it's already linked to the car and for anybody who has a question about this and yes it does work with the tune because i have that 91 octane tune on here as well that really made a drastic difference over on the car and i understand there are better tunes out there but as for what i needed it for and i'm not trying to be this like drags are going down the road i'm just trying to be able to have this car just be a little bit more fun than it would be if it was stock now having a pair with that pedal commander just made everything so much more better overall especially with the throttle response because when you have that tune it gave you a little bit more throttle response but when you have this pedal commander it just made the best of both worlds and at first i thought i was spending a lot of money going ahead and spending 300 dollars for that tiny little box because so i'm like come on why am i going to waste this much money when i can go put a torque suspension or exterior mods or whatever the case may be because i can adjust it however i want do i want eco mode fuck it i'm going eco mode do I want to go ahead and go city? Fuck it, I'm going city. Do I want to go ahead and go fast? Fuck it, I'm going fast. I'm going fast again! That is exactly how this pedal commander is, but I will say though, it's not gonna give you any horsepower at all, which I'm not trying to confuse you all, but it does give you a plenty, and I mean plenty of torque. And just imagine, I know some of you guys out there who are watching this video have this, but if you have 373 gears or even 410s with that one piece drive shaft over on your V6 Mustang, you are gonna go get a run for your money, especially with that pedal commander and a tune as well. I praise you, I literally praise you, and I can't imagine what it's gonna be like, because with me having the two piece drive shaft as well as the 273 gears which are stock over on this car this car has plenty of power and i could definitely feel it could use a lot more but i will say if you have those other two mods you are pretty much set and real quick i kind of lied to you guys a little bit but i do want to bring up a really important note that i'm going to make this pretty much extremely quick is the fact that it is extremely important to make sure you get really good tires for your car and also suspension components under your car as in like sway bars lower control arms coilovers whatever the case may be and i realized after doing a poll with you guys over on this channel which if you guys don't interact with those polls i 
highly recommend doing so. We have a lot of fun doing that with everyone else in the community. And pretty much a lot of you guys said that you guys have lowering springs over on your Mustang. And I think that's great that you ended up lowering your car for the look of it, but at the same time too, you're tampering with the stock components, which in my opinion, isn't really the best route to go. Now, I feel like if you wanna be able to have your car planted to the floor a lot more and not have that somewhat soft cushion with the stock components, getting coilovers is a great way to be able to counteract that as well. Because I have coilovers on this car. I have rear lower control arms, sway bars, a subframe brace, you name it. I have all the videos over on the channel if you guys haven't watched any of those already because you guys are missing out if you guys aren't watching those because trust me, I feel like those videos are extremely underrated and I would name them all underrated if I could. In the Mustang community, if you don't end up upgrading your suspension, you're gonna end up like all those other videos while you're just spinning out over in those rocks over there and you're just that guy and you don't wanna be that guy. 